I, I was so struck to, and I want to thank jo, uh, Joanne and everybody associated with the Carnegie Council for organizing this and for having me here. I was very struck by the impressive website and the mission statement to enlarge the audience for the simple but powerful message that ethics matter regardless of place, origin, or belief. And it's a very moving mission statement. The specific ethical principles that the Carnegie Council advocates include human rights and dignity. And of course, that mission and that message dovetails very much with the mission and message of my book, uh, namely that we have an ethical responsibility to resist hate. And note that the only verb in the title is resist. So it's not only a book that is anti-censorship, which it certainly is, but it is also a call uh, to urge all of us to exercise our right and I would say a moral responsibility to raise our voices to counter hateful, discriminatory, stereotyped ideas. Um, and my book also argues that we all have fundamental human rights, and again, I'm going to quote the mission statement of the Carnegie Council, regardless of place, origin, or belief among other factors, and these rights include not only freedom from hateful, discriminatory conduct, but also freedom of belief and freedom of speech. In my view, based on experience and observation, these rights are mutually reinforcing. We hear so many arguments today that we have to prefer, and college student surveys show that uh, students believe that the goal of promoting diversity is so important that we should sacrifice freedom of speech in order to advance it. Well, I'm here to say that we don't have to make that choice because these rights are mutually reinforcing. We are entitled to and can enjoy liberty and equality, civil liberty and civil rights. Uh, and while censorship in all these other countries, as, jo as Joanne mentioned, is certainly well intended, I certainly endorse the goals of those laws to promote equality and dignity, two of the goals of the Carnegie Council as well, also diversity and societal harmony. Uh, in fact, the laws in practice do more harm than good to those very vital goals. So in fact, in, in focusing on that goal of societal harmony, my book also ties into the Carnegie Council's goal of promoting peace. Mm -hmm.